this is our end mill notcher. It has many features. I'm going to try to tell you about as many as I can. Number one, it's sold complete with the cabinet that you see. On the other side of the cabinet, there's a shelf to hold any tooling. Okay? There's many different features here that I want to show. Number one, all the guides have brass inserts in them. They are adjustable. Whenever any wear occurs, you do not have to replace them. You simply adjust them. The vise is calibrated and adjustable to any angle. It'll take any end mill cutter, and it's important to notice that it takes a long length of cut. We have any end mill that you need from half inch through two and three eighths inch outside diameter. All it takes is an Allen wrench to change it. If you're using smaller sizes, we have adapter bushings to go in. The pillow block, not only is it large, it has a grease fitting so that you can lubricate it. The gearbox is 156 RPM after it comes through the reduction. So at that slow speed, you do not generate heat on your cutter. The cutters go an extremely long time. When they do dull out, they can be sharpened very economically. The motor is a one and one half horsepower. It's the largest and most powerful unit on the market today. It has an off and on switch. The vice jaws are adjustable up and down. The slides move freely. On this unit, you simply insert the tube in and crank the whole motor, gearbox, pillow block, and everything in. We have a protective clear shield here but we still would like you to wear glasses. It only one takes one chip to cause a major problem. The first thing we're going to do is we'll set our vise. Tighten it down. It comes with a crank handle. Insert your tube in. It'll automatically center it. You can notch as short a piece as two inches. Okay, just turn your cutter on. Crank your end mill in. Loosen the vise. Take it out. And it's that quick and easy.